Hello, I'm Coach Chris Calloway. Man, thanks for clicking on the message today. Here's a question for you. Do you feel overwhelmed? Have you ever felt overwhelmed or stressed out? We've got answers for you today. Today, we're going to pick up part two of the series we've called Overwhelmed. And we're going to deal with how to be in the right place, how to set the right perspective and set the right priorities so that we're not overwhelmed in the circumstances in our life. And it's coming up next right here at therockwm.com. Let's roll. All right, I want you to know, you don't have to question if God cares about you. You don't have to question if God will take care of you. He will. God's got your back. He loves you and he cares about you and he has the peace and the answers you need for any circumstance in your life. I want you to go to 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 with me. Let's read this. It says, give all of your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. And we don't have to worry about if God cares about us. I'm here to tell you today and encourage you. God cares about you. He loves you. He says, give all of your worries and your cares to him, for he cares about you. John chapter 14, verse 27 says, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you is the gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Man, powerful, powerful. I'm leaving you with a gift. Jesus told us that he left us with a gift of the Holy Spirit. That's peace of mind and heart. And the peace that he's given you, the world cannot give you. But he has given it to you. So don't be troubled, afraid. Don't be worried or stressed out. If all you have to focus on in this world is Jesus, then you're in a good place. Focus on him. Focus on God. Let God rule and be peace in your life. But see, when you don't focus on God, that's when the worry and stress comes up. So when we get our eyes and turn our attention away from God and away from his word and away from his love and his peace, his instruction in our life, and we get our eyes focused on the craziness of the world and the busyness of our lives, they can be overwhelming. But put our focus back where it's supposed to be. Seek God's kingdom first and all that we do above all else and know that he loves us and that he's left us with the Holy Spirit, and it's a gift of peace in our life. Man, what a wonderful set of scriptures that can really bring some stability in our mind and our hearts, and know that God cares and loves for us. Most importantly, we need to learn how to lean on God when we're feeling overwhelmed and stressed out. We have to trust God. We have to build our faith up and allow God's peace to guide us through the challenges and circumstances and guide us through our busy, crazy busy lives that we have to all deal with. Allow God to take the worry and allow God to take the stress and the burdens away from you. Philippians 4, 6 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Man, powerful scripture, right? I want to encourage you to do that. Don't worry about anything. Instead of worrying, pray about everything. Seek God Get in the presence of God. Tell God what you need, and it says, and thank Him for what He has done. When we're overwhelmed, we have to calm our spirits. We have to calm our mind, calm our souls. We have to give our worry and our stress and our anxieties and our cares to God. And when we do that, when we get in the presence of God and give it to Him, He cares for us, and He has our back. He has the answers that you need. He can relieve you of the anxiety, the stress, and the worry. You know, one of the scriptures that had such a major impact on my life, this is going back, gosh, 25 years ago or more. We had a circumstance in my life when I was first married where we had a lot of things go going wrong in our life. And I was newly married. This is back in the mid-90s. And we were completely overwhelmed by a lot of circumstances in our life. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 33 and 34, I want to read to you. It meant so much to me at the time, and it really got me through a difficult period in life. In Matthew 6, 33, it says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. And I just jumped and latched on to that word, and uh, God came through for me in a big way during my life and still does to this day. But it says, seek the kingdom of God above all else. First and foremost, above everything else, get yourself in a position to make sure that you're engaging and participating in seeking God. 
and live righteously. We have to live right, amen? And he will give you everything you need. I'm here to tell you, whatever it is you need, God will give it to you. And verse 34 says, so don't worry about tomorrow. And don't worry about tomorrow. Don't be stressed out. Don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today it has enough trouble for itself. So don't be stressing about the next day. Let's deal with today. And we do that by seeking the kingdom of God and getting into his presence. Thank you. Let's go to John chapter 14 and verse 16 and take a look at that scripture. In John 14, 15, it says, If you love me and obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit. See, God has given you the Holy Spirit. He's given you the Holy Spirit. He will never leave you. He is with you. He is there for you. And he's got your back. No matter what your circumstances are, know that you can cast your cares on God and he is there for you. You know, when it says cast your cares on God, he is talking about literally throwing your cares off of yourself. That's a physical action, right? We need to physically just and mentally just take our cares, our anxiety and our worry and throw it off of our shoulders, throw it out of our heart, throw it out of our mind, hand it over to God, Go to God in prayer and say, God, I seek you, Holy Spirit. I know that you're with me. I know that you love me. You've asked me to bring my cares and my worries to you, and I'm just going to give them to you now, and I'm going to cast them on you. But then choose to participate. So once you cast those on to God and free yourself of those worries, the practical step that you have to take is staying engaged and participating in the things of God, seeking his wisdom, seeking his instruction, and then being obedient to carrying out the things that he prompts you to do. And he will lead you out of the wilderness. He will lead you into a place of peace and prosperity in your life. And get rid of those worries. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't have anxiety. Don't be stressed out. But actively participate in seeking God's instruction and then being obedient to what he guides you to do. And I promise you, he will give you everything you need. He will give you every answer that you need for any circumstance in your life. And I hope today's message has been a blessing to you. I know it has been for me in preparing it for you. And I want to encourage you to spend a few minutes with us in prayer. I've got a powerful prayer for you. But before we get to it, a couple quick announcements real quick. You can communicate with us and reach out to us at the info at the rockwn.com. If we can do anything for you, we're here to be a blessing for you, and we love your correspondence. Just email us at info at therockwm.com or go out to the website and fill out the contact page there, and you can communicate with us that way as well. And don't forget to watch, share, and give. Not only watch these messages, but share them. So hit that share button right now. Don't hesitate. Go ahead, click it. Hit that share button and share the message. It may be a blessing to someone that follows you on your social media platforms, and they really need the message today, and you'll be a tremendous blessing to them if you'll just share the message. And then pray about giving. If God would have you give a financial offering to the ministry, it is, of course, tax deductible when you give to the ministry. You can do that if God leads you by texting the word give. It's that simple. Just pick up your phone and text the word give to 678-771-6777. That phone number is 678 678- 771-6777, and that phone number is on your screen if you feel led to do that. All right, well, let's go to God in prayer. Father, thank you for your word today. I pray for everyone that's listening today, Lord. I pray for them. I pray for their peace. I pray for their peace in their mind and their hearts, Lord, that you would give them what they need to overcome the circumstances in their life. Lord, whatever is being uh, cause of being overwhelmed, stressed, or worried, Lord, that you would take that from them right now. Encourage them to give you all of their cares and worries and stress, Lord, and you would take that from them and infuse them with your love and your peace, your guidance and your instruction, Lord, and lead them into a place of peace and prosperity. Give them the tools they need to be an overcomer and not be overwhelmed in the circumstances in their life. We are more than conquerors and we're the head and not the tail. And Lord, we know you love us so much. And we thank you for that in Jesus name. Amen. All right. If that's your prayer, hit that like button right now and leave us a comment. Send us that email at inforockwm.com and make sure that you get engaged on a weekly basis with us. And until next week, have a wonderful week and God bless.